Hello guys, uh, welcome to this class. In today's video, I want to show you how to use your phone uh, to do some programming with your phones. I had so many comments, people asking me if they can start with their phone because they don't have laptops to start programming with. So in this video, I want to show you um, the editor that you can use uh, to uh, program with your phone. So first of all, I'm using Android phone. If you are using Android phone, so you flow along with me. For the iPhone users, I don't know for now. Maybe you check out um, if this particular application is available in iPhone or any other close um, application. So I'm just going to search my Play Store. My Play Store, I, I have my Play Store here. So um, we're just going to search for an app. So this is Park Editor, like so. Okay, you just see it here. This is the name of. So you search for it. Once it's out, you're going to say just this now. You're going to say Spark Editor slash JIT Client. Okay, there are many other um, softwares here in Play Store you can use to program. But why I prefer this is because it's flexible. Some other softwares, I will want you to type everything before uh, you can go for that. And that's consuming. You know you are typing with phone, but Spark Editor have some level of autocomplete such that you can just type it to complete for you. So you can read more about this. So you can just go ahead and install the Spark Editor. So while we are waiting for it to install, uh, let's just wait for it to install. Uh, you can see it's only 7.03 MB. So we'll just wait for it, for the installation to complete. All right, um, the software is installing, the application is installing. Remember, it's from a uh, Play Store. I do this. So maybe you check it out for iPhone. Or I'll just check it out. So, or you drop comments for me. So we'll just open the application to launch the application. So this application serves as, you know, in laptops and in Windows, we use Visual Studio Code to program or text editor three, uh, subline text three, sorry, to code, but uh, you can use uh, any other one you wish uh, to code. If it is for the first time, you're going to see some other stuff. So you just see uh, some other stuff on your system. So uh, this is how the application look like. You can click here, then you see your project. Um, on the first download, the application always come with a default project. Okay, down here. So I'm also going to show you how to create your own and you walk around here. So down here, if you open this uh, here, you're going to see we have Discover uh, Workspace Editor. So if you click workspace and navigate here, it will show you your available workspace. In this workspace now, you can create many other workspace. This is the starter project, the one you will always see uh, down here, the one you will always see uh, down here. Yeah, this is it. All right, this is the starter project, the one you will see down here. So um, here we have um workspace and you have lab here which is a uh, jtop you can connect your jtop as well and you have the editor editor is where you write your codes and you have locks if there are any locks right you can see here like you can see the versions of this app then we have some other settings down here down here in the settings you have language 
then you have the background which you can change it to anything you want to have but for now i'm going to leave everything at its default so and many other settings that you can do here you can just come down and do those settings and we have tabs word and all that there are a lot of settings here so for now um that is that here is where you can create folder for this project and here is where you can see um find text inside your code and this is for source control that is first source control like gtop and you can create account even as well okay so when you work on this project your project will be stored in either your um, memory card or your inbuilt memory of your phone uh, those are the two ways memory card or internal memory of your phone and i think one other one other way um, and we're just going to check it out so for you to start a new project straight away right let me go back to the editor um since this is a starter code i don't like all this right so you can just go to workspace straight away you're going to see all this right in the workspace here you can decide to create your own new file so when you are in the workspace right here you can now click on um workspace all right you're in the workspace right here you can now uh, start a new project in the workspace so you can still create project right sorry create project inside this three dots or you can even clone a repo from gtop so it can work so if you click on create project it's going to tell you either to clone a repo or to import the zip file of the project and if you don't want to do any of them you can create your project from scratch by selecting any of these we have you can even code react here and we have bootstrap html uh, type typescript and javascript of course so these are what we have currently down here so for now um let's say we just want to create a simple project html project so i'll just select um click on html it's going to ask you the name of the project so i can just name it a um, test this is the folder the name of the project in general let's say we, we are working on portfolio i'm just going to call it portfolio right portfolio straight away so this is where you want to store this storage is talking about where you want to store your work you have your memory card if there's memory card inside your phone and you have an internal memory that's inside your phone I want to save it in my memory card because I don't want my phone memory to be full. Then the template we are using is HTML. If you need React, you select React. So we can create this project. Once that project is created, it will give you some other tem templates. You can see up here portfolio and we have HTML, main.js and style. So a simple uh, lay down structure is given to you straight away. So if I go to HTML, they're already giving you the snapshot of the HTML and the style sheet is already linked down here right away. Okay, so uh, for us to run this project now, it's very simple. You can click here, this play button down here and wait for it to come. You can see that we have the preview of our work here on our phone just saving like browser exactly how uh, we work you can stay refreshed you can zoom you can do desktop mode and you can um, zoom in clear catch and you can also open in the browser you can refresh as well then i'm going back straight away so if i change anything okay let me just say a kind of a new portfolio my new portfolio either my new portfolio portfolio my new portfolio website 
okay i'm typing straight away here right so you see everything is there right okay so i can rerun it again then you see my new portfolio website as you are typing it's saving automatically for you so if i want to add more style for example let me just add more style to it or maybe i i say i want to plug in uh, some other stuff more style today to it so in the style here remember that uh, we have the body here down here body so we have this paragraph up here so let me have a kind of heading one so h1 sorry okay so let me have a kind of heading one let me close this well All right, I want to have head one, each one. Okay, you can see the snapshot as you are typing is coming up. So I will say, um, welcome to my, welcome to my, my website. You can see how flexible this is as you are typing the autocomplete is there. So I want to style the head one to be sure that the CSS is working. I can now go to the CSS file, then I'll call the head one h1 h1 tag. And you can see it's tracking the um it's tracking the if there's any mistakes, the editor do well to track and highlight the mistake. That you have on by giving you a red sign just like visual studio full so head one i can just say color color all right i'll get the snapshot color color so i'm going to give let me just call it red for now whoa this is wonderful wow so we can go back and run this and check you see that i have my color red so this can save you a whole lot of time if you don't have laptop to start coding you can start coding with your phone but at least this is flexible let me know what you think in the comment section below if you have any question you can ask me so we'll be following along for those that don't have laptop at this beginning uh, beginner stage you can make use of this for now until you get the laptop see you guys in the next video